Hey, what's up, nerds? How you guys doing today? So, I'm doing a guest star Monday. This is Ty, a buddy from work. Um, he he's a big time wet shaver, safety razor, straight edge, shave at. Um, he does it all. So he's he's over today. He's actually gonna teach me how to use a shave at. It's gonna be my first shave at shave. So I'm excited for that. But before we get into that, I was gonna have him tell us how he got started, what his favorite lineup to use is, and uh, just kind of you know, his story of wet shaving, so let's All right. hear it. So about uh, four years ago, I uh, got sick of paying for cartridge razors because they're definitely expensive. They would give me a lot of irritation uh, right here on the neck. So yeah, I started looking into a better option for that and I found um, safety razors. The first one I found was this, uh, my Parker 22R. Uh, I found this and some Astro Blades and I basically used those for, I'd say, about three years before I found, before I started looking into other options. Um, back then I used just whatever cheap soap I could get and it worked a lot better. And then Zach started talking about it at work and I looked into other options. Uh, then I bought the uh, West Coast Shaving Open Comb Razor, which is at this point my favorite razor. Uh, I'm using this with, right now, either Persona Reds or the Wilkinson Swords and both good blades. They are working really well. I also have the other closed comb West Coast shaving with a heavier handle, which is for, I use one more day to day uh, instead of coming off of a weekend or something like that. So when you first started with your Parker, mm -hmm. was someone at work, did you know someone at work who used them or did you just uh, like it research was, it and find it It was yourself? a lot of research online and it was a cheap, it was a inexpensive, it was about $30 when I bought it and it's lasted, you know, four years, so yeah. definitely worth the $30 investment. Right, yeah, for sure. Okay, now let's see, what's uh, so this new brush? I use, originally used a Vander Hagen, you know, $20 store kit. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the brush was less than desirable, <laughs> which I didn't realize until I used a new one. <laughs> right. Um, but this is just the uh, West Coast Shaving uh, Black Lantern Synthetic Brush, and it is uh, definitely worth the $20 brush and yes yeah. lathers great easy to use stays clean synthetic out. synthetic yes yeah and i like how they uh you went with the all black their midnight yeah. it looks definitely looks very clean yeah matches the brushes yeah. that i use yeah okay and what's this uh so this is one of the favorite soaps that i found a few years ago um it's the smolder from blades grim and this is just their pre-shave oil which is very affordable it's like Twenty dollars for that giant bottle, and then their uh, soap that they use as well. So this scent, and this is actually for Cincy Shave. Cincy, if you're watching this, because I used uh, Monroe Shaving Co. Spice Mahogany, and you're saying you're curious about the scent. If you've smelled this, the Blades Grim Smolder, it they smell a lot alike. So you know, I know you asked. You know, you were curious about that scent. This smells a lot alike it, but I digress. So we'll get back to. What you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. And then two of the more favorite soaps that I have that I, uh, Barrister Man, I found a few a year or two ago, and they are one of the best good. soaps that yeah. I've found. Good quality, good good lather, very slick. Um, we have the uh, Cologne Russe and then the Petrichor, which I use more often and my two favorite smells at that company. So Yeah, one thing I like about Barrister Man too is the packaging. Yeah, the like packaging, the, they're very clean, and yeah. then they've got a nice deep lip so you can store water and get a good soap build up on your brush in yeah. the container. Yeah, and it's uh, waterproof. Yes. It's all waterproof packaging so the stickers and the stuff, labels the labels don't, don't peel off. Yeah. Alright, so now let's show yeah. me what I'm going to be using. Okay. So, <laughs> about two years ago I got into the idea of, you know, switching over to a straight razor and mm -hmm. to try out I bought this. It's a, just a cheap, I believe it says Equinox on the side for the brand and it's just a shavette that holds a Double edge razor, uh, simple just slide lock design, put a razor in it. Um, I used that for probably a good three months just to get a feel to if I was you know, going to kill myself with a real straight razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, cut myself a bunch the first couple times. Got a good couple of nicks on the side of my neck where I caught an edge, but after that, it was definitely a clean shave. Um, and then I eventually went and bought my. Uh, my Dobo Stray Razor. Um, it's not quite as sharp as I would like it to be. It pulls a little more than uh, 
should, I think, but that could be just comparing it to a safety blade. Right. But I'm going to send it off here in a month or two get and hopefully get it sharpened professionally and um, see if that... But. So, with the Shavette, you said it uses a standard double-edged yep. safety razor. Do you notice a difference? So, like, you're using uh, the Persona Reds and the Wilkinson Swords. Mm -hmm. Is that what you also like in that? Or does yeah, that... So, do you like different blades for your Shavette? Um, I haven't played with a lot of new blades, but I found that normally I do a two-pass shave. Yeah. Um, with the... Uh, with the grain and across the grain for a normal day. Yeah. And I found that when I use the Persona Red in here, the with the grain is a lot closer than normal. Okay. So when I go across the grain, it's a lot less of a cut, a lot less of a pull on yeah. for that pass. Yeah, yeah, a lot cleaner. Cool. All right, guys, so that's his setup. A lot of awesome stuff. Chris from another cut above, I know you love this scent. Um, so that's cool. That's probably, if it's okay with him, I'm gonna use this Definitely. today on my shave. So. Uh, We'll be right back. He's gonna take. We're gonna head to the bathroom and start building the ladder, and he's gonna teach me how to use one. So hopefully, there's not too much blood, and we have a good time. So we'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, here we are. We got the Shavet loaded up with the Gillette Silver Blue. Um, this is its second use. I've used it once in one of my safety razors, so that's what I'm going with. And uh, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna wet my face, and we'll get going. He's gonna kind of show me how to hold it and uh, you know the angle just kind of coached me through it. Alright guys so like we said we're using the Petrichor shaving soap and it just smells like like wet grass, dirt, outdoors. It's a good scent so we got the brush loaded um, I'm just taking the extra out of the out of the uh, jar putting it on. How long have you had the Petrichor? Um, I found that probably three months ago, and I've probably used it about 10, 15 times in that. What, uh, like, did you smell it, or did you just order it online? No, I read a lot of reviews, um, and then eventually went to, I read a lot of reviews on West Coast Shaving, and then went to the Barrister Man website and bought it from them. Okay. How's your wife like the dirt grass? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not one of her favorites, <laughs> uh, but she doesn't mind it. It's not too strong. It's not too overpowering. So even though it's not her favorite, she doesn't have a problem with it. Yeah. And you like it? Yes. How much water do you usually have to add to it? Like, is it a, does it like to take a lot of water and is it pretty um, so I I don't I think I usually end up with a little bit drier lather but I usually don't use much more than a tablespoon of water most okay. during the whole process in my bowl so yeah so Gil second kind of cool I know you're a Shavette user so we're gonna see how this goes Hopefully uh, I'm not bleeding everywhere by the end of this, but if I am, it's a learning <laughs> experience. So that's why he's here. If, he, if I bleed everywhere, we'll, we'll know. We'll stop it, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I've definitely never tried the face lather. Oh yeah, you always do bowl? Yeah. Yeah, I started doing face lathers a little while ago and I like it. I think it uh, lets me feel a little more um, how much water, like the dryness or, or slickness of the lather on my face, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really like to. I really like the feeling, especially when I do my head lathers, like it just feels like relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Alright, there we go. I'm sure for these you want a dry hand. Dry hand. Definitely dry hand. <laughs> Good place so to dry start. my hand off really well. Okay, alright, so show me. All you right, use so your straight, kind of guide me. Yeah, so normally for a straight razor, depending on your hand size, you're going to use two or three fingers on the blade, and you're going to hold your pinky on the tail. Okay. There's, there's more formal names for these, but I forget them all the time. No, that's fine. 
Okay. Um, yep. Usually, I usually put um, my pointer finger uh, right on the middle of the blade. That way, I can have more control of the pivot of it. All right. Just to have a, a and that guiding finger of it. Okay. And then just like uh, when you're going with your first time with a safety razor, are you going to start with the blade? Just flash, flash on your face, cheek. okay, and then kind of get that little bit of a feel, a little bit of light pressure down until you get that angle where you feel it start cutting the hairs. Okay, it should be a similar angle which you would normally get with your uh, your safety razor, okay. but it's a lot harder to see that. <laughs> yeah, you know you've got the heel of the safety razor. <laughs> I'm nervous right now. So, <laughs> all right, I'll try to quit smiling and, and being afraid. Okay, let's get at this. Should I turn my head? Man, how do you how, how do, do you see, see? you? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> like well, my, my arm's blocking everything I'm trying to do. figure out where I'm gonna be, and then I just go by feel. Okay, to, okay, so, so a feel thing. Yeah. So like doing right. the back of my head. Yeah. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Cause I'm trying to trust my eyes too yeah, much. It's, it's a lot less of eyes than it okay. is for a. I can hear it cutting. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm trying to see if there's any. I think it's taking it down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I can hear it over here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little, <laughs> little cocky. <laughs> it's a lot of slow, a lot of patience. Yeah, I got a little confident. But I have, in the time I've used this, versus the time I've used my various safety razors, I definitely cut myself worse with my safety razors than I have with either of these. Oh, that's good to know. So it looks like you're getting a little much, a little bit of an aggressive angle on there. Okay, a little too, so, little yeah, too. You got a little turned uh, away from your face. Whew. <laughs> So, I could see this would, this is like a, definitely, the safety razor is, is much easier to, uh, that's probably why you cut yourself with one of those, you probably get more comfortable using mm -hmm. a safety razor until you just yeah. get going. And then going. depending, so when you switch sides, it might be easier, I switch hands when I switch, what? and that way, like I'm coming Go across. lefty? Yes. Oh boy. It's, it's going to be weird at first, it really depends on what you feel comfortable with, right. I found that Reaching like this was a lot harder with, with your nose and everything in the way. It was a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but if you want to go right hand. All right, no, no, we'll, we'll do it. Let's do it. We gotta gotta learn this. Gotta learn this skill. So I want to. I would. I think it'd be really neat to do a head shave with a shaveette or a uh, straight. How often do you do an against the grain pass with one of these? Uh, never. Okay. I'm not brave enough to ever <laughs> against the grain with one of these. All right. Okay, let's see. Don't trust your eyes. So normally, since I'm not in the best of practice, I'll go with the grain, uh, with my straight razor or the shavette. And then just to clean up the, the tough spots where you miss around the edges oh, of thing, grab a safety I'll do, razor. Yeah, I'll do my across the grain pass with my safety razor just to clean okay. up the extra spots. Well, it's it's definitely uh, cutting. There's no doubt about that. And the uh, Western man is a. I mean, it's, it has awesome glide. So that's. Coming down the, uh, the jawline <laughs> is definitely hairy. Yeah, that one I need to do so. it a few different angles. You can usually hear. 
here when you're getting too aggressive, mm -hmm. it, you can hear the cutting a lot more than you normally would. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, so your first time trying one of these, how long did it, it take you? My first pass took about 20 minutes. <laughs> it was very slow. Okay, so I'm on par. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I'm waking up in the morning, I gotta be work out the door in 30 minutes, let's, let's try this new thing. It was, I planned it, I did it the night before, and I yeah. definitely took plenty of time. Good heavens, this is... Yeah. The nose is definitely, right here is definitely one of the parts I struggle with, is getting it close enough to the nose, but not coming straight at your face with the blade. Yeah, I, I mean like, I don't know how to do this spot right here. Yeah, I, I'm still not great at all of that. Like... <laughs> <laughs> If any of you guys who use these out there, please feel free to laugh at me and then te to like give me pointers. No. Man, I can. I mean, it's a. It's definitely a skill. some water to my face because my lather is drying. Yeah. <laughs> it's taken so long. Um, it definitely... I can see why, like, the intrigue of it because it's definitely like, uh, you know, you think, oh, I could, I can get shave my face with this, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it can't be that hard. Yeah. I've been doing it for hundreds of years. Yeah. It is. <laughs> if you, for you guys who've never tried a shave head or a straight, like, I thought, I'll just grab it and go. Basically, that's what I did in my future. Even on my head, I just like, alright, I'll just grab it and kind of go. Went slow, but like, learning how to hold your hand and, like, my neck right now, I, I am, like, baffled at how I'm going to get around my jawline and down my neck. But, we'll see. Yeah, so normally I just slowly just, you know, cut and then slowly aim the blade differently. As to go around? Yep. Yeah. You ever like try yeah, to normally, flatten it out? You normally it's turtleneck just, it like. <laughs> yeah. Normally it's get the as, fat neck yeah, on as flat as I can get it against my neck, and then just a little bit of an angle. Oh boy! Okay. Go with it. That's awesome. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> no, I'm scared. All right, all right. Man up, man up. Be a man. Be a man. I, I like I don't even want to breathe because I feel like it makes my neck move. Well, you're definitely doing better than me because I've yet to see a bunch of blood on your face, so you cut yourself um, less than I did the first time. I had a coach. That's true. I was doing this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear my dog barking in the background, like right now I want to go kill him. <laughs> so I'm sorry about the dog barking in the background. So just, just a lot of short baby strokes, yeah, huh? Yeah, definitely. That's on my neck still. On my face I can do longer passes at yeah. this point, but... On my Gosh. neck, it's definitely still short strokes. I'm not trying to win a race through this. Mm -hmm. So now that you've used one for a little while, mm -hmm. all right. So my neck hair grows straight up. Okay, mine kind of grows <laughs> weird. I just go straight down the whole time and just okay. a little bit of pressure. Right. I've yet to. Get the bravery to just like that. Well, we're gonna give it a shot. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not happening. It's definitely a lot more intimidating. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, let's think here. <laughs> People have been doing this a long time. People that are yeah. smarter and I think not as smart as me, and they figure it out. So I feel like I can I can make this work. So all right, that. Let's, let's try and keep that angle. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that was dangerous. It's a lot less forgiving than your safety. Oh, it, oh it, my god. Yeah. It it's just instant, you know, mm -hmm. gone into your face. No, I thought, I, I honestly thought of shave that. Like, I see, you know, guys on YouTube use them and, like, they just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. I'm like, okay, all right, we can, we, I can handle that. No, guys, that, that, they're for real. Like, you guys are good. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely another thing is a challenge of holding it. The safety razor are just easy, just straight on, easy to yeah, hold. Yeah, and it's this. almost, uh, what you you even with the cartridge you you hold it the same way basically. This one you now oh have to my. find fighting your hand and the angle. Yeah, your hand is. I feel like I need to dislocate my shoulder to do this spot right here. The part that worries me the worst is that two edges of the yeah. blade, like, because my skin will fold out there. Mm -hmm. That's definitely it's one like of the that's worst cuts I've got. It's just gonna nick me, right? Yeah, that's definitely one of the worst cuts I've got. Was where I caught an edge and made a big, about a half inch yeah. line down. And it's it's sharp enough that you don't really feel it. Like you feel it cut and it doesn't hurt immediately, but then you know it's gonna bleed a lot. Alright, guys, so we're going left hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're not going left hand. That changed my mind. That this doesn't. There's no way. Alright, you know what? Forget it. I'm sweating like crazy <laughs> right now. I'm barely breathing. That's it. That's as good as I'm getting. All right, let me rinse and fill what it was like, and then I'll. Uh, the real test. Rinse it with the aluminum block and see how much oh, it burns. Oh. Uh, that's how you just to know when you were getting a little too close to some spots. Well, I definitely need to, like, this, this shave, I mean, oh jeez, this is just not, like, you couldn't leave the house shaved like this, <laughs> like. Let's see, lefty, I did lefty up here. Well, yeah, that's, that's fun, and for the guys who can do it, and I'm, I'm seriously going to look at getting one because I think it'd be fun to practice and, mm -hmm. and learn how to use it, but that, that takes some serious skill. It does. You know what I mean? Like, it's I... not, like, I'm going to 
trade this out and throw it in my, well, I'm going to grab my hands off, but I'm going to throw it in my, uh, Gillette Tech I got down here. I'll find it real quick. I'll throw it in my Gillette Tech to finish up the shave. Um, but we'll do that off camera. So, shave that, guys. Fun little tool. Yeah, like, definitely. how long did it take you? Like, how long does a shave take you now? Uh, I mean, I'm still looking at first pass about five to ten minutes still. Cause I'm still not. Well, that's not bad. I'd say I'm mean, good at it, but I'm definitely still just barely above a novice. Even if you did ten and ten, twenty minutes mm -hmm. is. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's a right. little bit slower than a first pass would be with my safety razor. Right. Um, but it's definitely a skill that I'm worth. It's worth practicing at to get better for. And then how long have you had this? Um, I had that probably for two years that I've been using it. So you guys, so two years. Yes. And I used that for a solid year well, before I upgraded to this. And then I've only used this one off and on because it's still a little scary. Yeah. We need I, a full like, length blade. Definitely changes yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that... I, yeah, I, I thought, like, before I'd ever used one, I thought, like, oh, yeah, I could, uh, I could, uh, I'm just going to, how do you knock the blade out? I'm just going to do that. I just grab it from the side and just pick it up that way. Okay. Before I'd ever used one, I thought, like, oh, yeah, I'll learn how to use one, and I'll do a head shave with it. No, there's, <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's a whole other level of brave. There's, there's no way. I think you could ever do a head shave with one. But anyhow, uh, so the Equinox International Shave At, fun little tool, like no doubt about that. Like, um, but definitely, <laughs> definitely like a very steep learning curve. Yeah. Like makes your stomach clench up a little bit when you got that. You, I thought like, I mean, obviously there's no blade in there now. I thought I was just gonna grab it and just like, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> Definitely, no way. Definitely wakes you up, gets the blood pumping a little bit while you're going. <laughs> no freaking way. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna finish. I'll, I'll finish up. You know, another pass with the safety razor, clean it up, Allen block, witch hazel, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, just want to say thanks for yep. coming over, showing your stuff, Definitely. letting me use it, um, teaching me. I'm gonna have to get my hands on one now because. It's a challenge. It's like a fun challenge. It's so just the next step, another another skill to learn in the process. Yeah, so. no doubt. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Please comment. Be safe. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.